Hi guys and welcome to October's challenge. I can't believe we're in October already. The year has flown by. Um, this month we are doing one session of full body intensity hit. The second session next day we're going to do concentrate on abs and arse um, to make sure that we are um, getting primed up really for black dress season, tuxedo season. So we're getting ready for that. So um, this month we're going to do one day one, one day the next. And we're also going to concentrate on rep-based as well. So we're going to do quite a lot of rep-based workouts this month rather than timed-based. With that in mind, when you're doing a rep-based exercise in a workout, um, be very, very careful to keep an eye on, the, on your time. Um, the whole point of this challenge is to try and embed um, habits and to make sure that you're carving out at least 10, 15 minutes per day to, to, for yourself, to give yourself a chance to get some fitness um, embedded into your, your weekly schedule. Now, by doing so on a rep-based basis, it means that you could get carried away or you could take too long to do each rep and all of a sudden you're in a 20 minute session and then it becomes, oh, this, you know, it's eating into my own time now, what's happening here? So when you're doing rep-based workouts, my advice would be have a look at the rep count and if you, if you look at it and think, that's quite high, I'm not sure if I can get that, I would do 50% of the, the full workout then go back to the top of the workout and do the second 50%. Psychologically, that means once you've completed 50% of the all exercises asked of you, you've ticked a box, you've completed that workout. Say you get to the end of that and something happens, child is crying, you know, work calls, you've got something else that you need to turn your, your attention to, at least you've done every exercise. If you concentrate on doing 50 push-ups, then 20 burpees, and then it's time to, to finish up, it's not really that an exciting workout. So be very mindful when you're doing rep based exercises that you are looking ahead and that you're saying, okay, these are quite high rep counts. I'm going to half that number, do the full workout, go back to the top and start again. Second thing I'd say to you is for those that are coming on month on month on month on month, um, your fitness levels by now, even though I'm not working with you face to face, should be of relatively high standard. So what I would say is when you see a burpee in the session, why don't you do a burpee push-up automatically? Why don't you do a burpee to the floor? Um, if you're seeing push-ups in the session, why don't you do a military push-up automatically rather than a side-based push-up? So what I'm challenging you is um, challenging you with is um, push yourself to your personal max every time you see an exercise, just to see how far you can push yourself. And you might get to the end of you know day seven of doing that and you're like, okay, that was a hard going week. And then you have to spend three days doing the easiest version of everything. I don't know, but it's worthwhile now starting to play about and to test your own strength and, and um, vitality to see how far you can get through. Um, thank you so much for the support. We are in startup zone of Fit Mama in Canada. We are in well-established zone of pure gravity in Switzerland. However, startup zone Fit Mama is it's hard work and it's really good and I'm really, really excited. There's a ton of things that are going to be coming off really, really soon. Um, but every single person who takes part in these challenges helps me to get there. So I want to say a huge thank you from me to you. Um, and I hope you enjoy October's challenge. Good luck.